And sisters, they should be writing this down because you have to teach your children this. Nobody cares. Brothers, if you want to write this down, it's a good lesson to you. Nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care. For me, I could care less if you have a PhD or you have a master's degree or you have a BA or you're a Sheikh al-Islam. I, I could care less. I'll give you an example. One day I went to a masjid where there was a Sheikh who I read three or four of his books. I won't mention his name. The Sheikh writes books that when you read it, it hits you in the heart. He has the ability, Allah gave him the, the magic pen, mashallah. When he writes, you read his books and it makes you cry. And when finally, they advertised for many years that the Sheikh has come to Canada. Finally, one day the Sheikh came. And for three days while he was here, me and some other brothers that are like-minded, we went to go see the Sheikh because we love him very much. And each time, the Sheikh said, mind you out. I don't have time. We wanted to ask him a question after the breaks. The Sheikh would not give us any of his time. Love the Sheikh dearly, may Allah bless him. But it comes down to no one cares how much you know until how much you care. So if the Sheikh would have just spent one minute with us and just answered one of our questions, it would have permeated deeper in our heart and his message would have lasted a long time. We consider ourselves students of the Sheikh. But when I look at the situation, he's got all this giant knowledge, but he didn't care for us. So it hurt me a lot, deeply. But then I went to a friend of mine who's a non-Muslim, and I told him, I said, you know, how do you handle situations like this? And he said, let me give you some gems of wisdom. And that's why you guys go to a non-Muslim school like this, because you can learn something here. And the non-Muslim guy said this. He said, you are not responsible for your people, but you're responsible to your people. It's a difference, a slight difference here. I'm not responsible for you guys. After you guys leave out here today, if you guys decide to go to a club and go drink and go get high, I'm not responsible for you. But I'm responsible to you, meaning that I should give you guys a positive message to chew on and digest while I'm here. So whether you guys leave out of here, I can pray for your guidance, and I hope you guys do well, but you guys are now intelligent people. You have to make your own decisions in life. You guys are the future leaders. So what was the topic today, sister? I'm picking on you, sister. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Anybody want to answer? What was the topic, Chair? The United Divided. The United Divided. Okay. What else? Diversity. Unity with diversity. What else? What was the main thing I just said recently? I just said it like three minutes ago. It's so many nations. Yeah. Say it again. Okay. No. Right? Nobody knows. Nobody cares how much you know. Nobody cares how much you know until, until they know how much you care. That's profound. Take that as an Ibra, as a lesson. You'll be able to distinguish and differentiate between the people who really care and they have knowledge. Because we're supposed to have إِلَى الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَأَمِنُوا الصَّالِعَانِ Knowledge and action. So, I came here only out of love for you guys. I had no other reason to come here. I know you guys have some nice kebab, mashallah. And that's a nice thing, and mashallah, maybe those people, they came only for the kebab. I don't know. For me, I came here because I love you guys. The whole topic 